Hi and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing great. I hope you like that intro. I cannot wait to make some awesome projects with this monstrosity of an RC car. I call it the beast. That's my beast. But that RC car has nothing to do with what we are doing today because today we are... I don't know if you remember, but we made those LED lights, emblems, made out of acrylic and we used a handheld Dremel to etch out the material and that took a very long time, so I'm looking for better options. Uh, okay, so that's when it crossed my mind to use a laser to etch out the material on a piece of acrylic like this, to etch out the material to make the same effect that we see on a handheld Dremel edging out material on acrylic. I'm pretty sure this has already been done and this is the way you do most acrylic edging. All right, let's get started. When using the software for something like for something like the snap maker, it has to be three things. It has to be simple, user-friendly, and quick. As for someone who spends a tremendous amount of time learning softwares for different projects, I love the occasional user-friendly software. Check this out. There's like three steps to follow, so this shouldn't take long. You just choose your COM port, click open. Getting an error. <laughs> Now go to workspace up here, upload your image, pick whatever image you would like, like black or white, uh, colored, it doesn't matter whatsoever. I think this looks pretty tight, so size it to whatever you think is appropriate. Uh, 70 millimeters sounds good. Preview, generate decode, let's not skimp on the power, click save. Now to set the focus, focus is apparently extremely important, so let's click the focus and now you can see a small dot on laser. Adjust the set height to make sure that dot, dot is as small as possible or you can also rotate the knob on the laser itself and click set origin. You can also run the boundary to make sure, well to see where the picture will be, be made in what frame. And that looks pretty good. Um, you know, I think that's it. Play. Do you see this? Is laser is bad for your camera? The quality looks great. It's a bit smaller than I anticipated. This is just some four millimeter clear acrylic plastic. If, if the wood turns out so good, why wouldn't this? For all the Star Wars fans, for all the Star Wars fans, buckle up because we are about to do Darth Vader. How cool is that? That turned out perfect. And it only took eight hours, eight hours to complete. For the laser to melt the plastic, you need a lot more power than just to burn it. So you have to go really, really slow, but maybe the laser just needs a bit more 
oomph. Versus the Rose, both are just straight up awesome. Full disclosure, this is not a paid review for Snapmaker. I think it's a cool machine, I think. I do think it did a good job with the laser engraving and the 3D printing side is just off the roof. But the fact that this is the largest thing you can laser engrave, it's just a good representation. This is edge to edge of the build volume. It just irritates me that for $800 you're getting a, a, a machine that's potentially limitless. I mean, it's such a good concept. If it just would have been bigger, it could have replaced equipment. Now it just... Now it's just this teaser for what might come. That ends today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Bye.